I'm Stuart Green, I'm the Remote Sensing Specialist in Chagask and I'm going to speak about the new tools we're developing to monitor grass growth using satellites. We're looking at using uh, NASA satellites that uh, observe in the optical wavelengths. These are like the satellites you see in Google Earth. But instead of seeing just the normal visible imagery that we're used to seeing, like a photograph, these satellites can observe in the near-infrared. And this is a part of the spectrum of reflected sunlight where plants show up very brightly, five, six times more brightly than they show up in the green. And that allows us to see very subtle changes in the grass performance. We can convert those images into something called a vegetation index. And this is a number that goes from zero to one, zero being a desert, and one being very lush growth, like sort of pasture in Ireland in May. And by looking at that number, we can monitor how grass is growing over time. So we have two tools that are in development. One is a comparison tool. It will allow farmers to zoom in to their townland to see how this week's growth is comparing to the 10-week average. Uh, we have another tool which is more detailed where we're using techniques and information from Moorpark and the pasture-based system to invert directly from satellites to give us absolute biomass that's growing on the ground. So in a number of years, farmers will be able to see the standing biomass, the kilograms of dry matter per hectare, on their farm or in their area uh, on a weekly basis. We're hoping that the farmer will be able to use an app. Uh, we don't want to have to use a computer or any technique where the farmer has to input any data. They can just download an app, press a button, and it'll tell you the forecast, the amount of biomass, and hopefully the forecast for the week ahead for where the phone is, where the farmer is when the app is activated. Uh, farmers will hopefully be able to use it to plan their week ahead. Uh, dairy farmers, beef farmers have to make very time-critical decisions on how to use the grass available for their animals on a daily basis. This will give them some heads up on how to plan ahead for the week. So in summary, we're going to have a series of tools that will tell farmers how the uh, growth is occurring that week where they are and hopefully in the near future prediction tools like a weather forecast that will tell them how the grass is going to grow for the week ahead.